Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is Catherine with Oracle Intuitions and we're going to be taking a look into the energies of the mind, the heart and messages from spirit or from your soul uh, for the time period of April 26 to May 6. So um, we're going to be breaking it down for each sign. If you don't want to, um, you know, watch the whole thing, it has been broken down into separate sections. So for the mind, for the heart and which is relationships and also messages from spirit. All the timelines are below. Please remember, um, you know, if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell, you will be notified when we do go live because we do do, we do perform live readings on this channel. And also you'll be notified when uh, your horoscope signs do come out or other readings on my channel as well. Uh, please click like if the reading has resonated with you because it does help support the channel as well. Um, also, if you would like a personal reading, you can contact me at oracleintuitions.com and please do follow me on uh, Instagram as well under oracle underscore intuitions. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed week and let's get right into your reading. Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for April 28th to May 6th. We're going to be taking a look into the energies of the mind heart and spirit. So we're going to start off with the um, mind energy. So this is things that you may be focusing on, things that may be happening to you externally that, are, you know, you're putting your thoughts into. It could be just where uh, the energies are currently for you at this time. And then we're going to be getting into relationships with a closing message from spirit. So let's see what is going on for our Aquariuses this week. Also remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone, but I do suggest you take a look into your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs as well. All right, so let's get into it and see what's happening. All right, Aquas. Let's see what's going on. Three shuffles. All right, first card coming through. We have the Word Lord. Okay, it talks about communication, praise and dishonesty. Second card coming in. We have the altar princess preparation, prayer and sacred ritual. Third card coming in, the arrow master hitting the mark, intention and detachment. All right, I really feel um for you uh, Aquarius to start off. Now of course we're going to be getting into, you know, some uh clarification for you. But what I feel happening for you right now at this moment is it really feels like you guys are in this place of detaching. Okay, there's this energy here of detachment. And I feel that you could be waiting for some sort of communication coming in. Um, I'm really getting an energy here that... Um, I kind of feel like you guys went through some, something or, you know, with somebody, okay? That's what's coming through. Now, there may have been something that was dishonest, okay, or have a representation of dishonest or maybe somebody that just wasn't coming in in the energy that was, um, you know, good for you. Like, it was something that you just weren't feeling was resonating with you in some way. Um, I, I'm also getting here with this altar princess. So as it says, prayer, preparation, sacred ritual, you might even be asking for prayers to help with this situation. Okay. Um, you know, maybe you're doing the meditation, maybe you're, you know, in this place of focusing inwards. That's what it keeps feeling like. Okay. And it, it, it does feel like you're placing your intention towards something. It might even be just helping you clear off the energy, maybe helping, you know, to bring some sort of resolution to the situation in some way. But let's see what uh, cards are clarifying right now. I just want to apologize um, as well. I, I have, wasn't feeling good the last couple of days. So if I'm if my throat sounds kind of raspy or, you know, if I kind of stop talking for a second, please forgive me. I'm just, uh, you know, uh, clearing off my throat. So we have the three of wands coming through here. So okay, we also have three of pentacles with the queen of pentacles. All right. I kind of feel... I'm really getting here that there's this energy 
it, it's like looking towards a future, but you want some sort of cooperation with somebody. I feel like you're done doing the work all yourself. Okay, now this could be romantic, it could have to do with work, it could have to do, you know, really what, whatever area it is within your life, but you're done in this place of putting in all the work, you know, on your own. It, it feels like, you know, you're looking forward to some sort of, again, I do feel like for some of you, maybe you're looking forward to or looking for communication coming in, but it has to be the right type of communication. It has to be cooperative communication. It has to be coming from a healing place. For some of you, I'm really getting this energy that you might be waiting for an apology. Maybe again, you know, you're waiting for something to come through where there's going to be a stronger, um, you know, energy towards this. Like it, it's almost as though you want a resolution. Okay, you want maybe even for some of you, you might even want a closure on a situation or maybe perhaps you're looking forward to or you're looking for, when I say forward, it doesn't mean that you're excited about it, but I mean like you're looking forward into the future, hoping to have some sort of reconciliation with somebody. But again, the energy has to be in a place that is going to be good for you, you know, or good for the situation. It can't be one-sided type of energy coming through here. So let's look at that altar princess. Now we have the king of pentacles. We have the high priestess. And we have the four of wands. I really do feel that for some of you, you're really like the prayers that you're doing or the rituals that you may be doing, or the, you know, the meditation, or the focusing in on yourself, is for this long-term feeling of contentment in some way, where the contentment is on your own, or whether that contentment is going to be possibly with that partner coming through, or, or you know, maybe perhaps with somebody else, or, you know, some sort of collective energy coming in here. Um, I do feel that for some of you, you're also wanting the truth revealed, okay? And I really feel like there needs to be some th sort of truth that's coming through here, especially with this, um, you know, we have this preparation, the prayer, our sacred ritual. It feels like that preparation is that you're preparing yourself for the truth of a situation in some way. So you're waiting, you know, for hopefully, hopefully hoping that somebody will come through or somebody will say something or there's going to be clarity on a situation in some way. It really feels like you're in this place of just going, okay, you know what? I, I kind of feel like for some of you, you're surrendering. You're just kind of giving it to the universe and, and you're focusing it on yourself and you're going, okay, I've put all of the work that I possibly can. I've tried to be um, cooperative. I've tried to, you know, bring a resolution to this. I've put in the work towards the situation. There's not much more I can do. Now I have to, I've set my intention. I'm going to detach from the situation and I'm going to allow spirit to just really, you know, guide me through this. Or hopefully that resolution is going to come through or maybe perhaps again that apology that you're waiting for or you know some sort of clarity towards the situation is going to come in so let's clarify that four of uh, four of wands I want to see what that has to do about yeah clarity look at that ace of swords I feel like you really want clarity within that situation you have hope you know that the, the star really talks about hope and faith and this is really your card as well so it's really I feel like this is, you know, directly for you. You know, you're waiting for that clarity. You're hoping that clarity is coming in. And we're also getting the devil. I feel like for some of you, you might have been dealing with some sort of devil energy. I'm also getting though here too, is that this situation has weighed on your head for so long. Whether it's the person or, you know, the situation and, you know, in completion, right? Maybe several situations. But this has been weighing on you. It almost feels like you've been trapped in some sort of situation or, you know, been trapped or bound. It's like overthinking. I, I can't, you know, get past this. How do I move past this? And you might have been even asking for the clarity in regards to that. But what I'm getting here also with that devil energy is that somebody may have been trying to keep you bound in some way. Okay. And this doesn't mean in a, you know, physically abusive thing or mentally abusive thing. It just feels like maybe perhaps some sort of in and out type of energy or some sort of 
player energy. It's like you feel like you're just moving on and then they come through again. And, and, and what you're really seeking here is that contentment. Okay, are we going to be in something? Are we not going to be in something? Is this going to move forward? But, you know, because there's been so uh, little communication or clarity or honesty because it does feel especially with that you know high priest is coming through here it's like there might have been secrets maybe things were hidden especially with this devil coming in all right and you're wanting the clarity you just want to know this is all you want you want them to open up or you want the situation or you know whatever is going on you want it to open up and just show you that path or show you you know bring you the closure or bring it forward so that you know you can continue moving on maybe perhaps within a relationship or maybe you've gotten getting closure towards the relationship, but you want that clarity. And I do feel that not only with this week coming in, it feels like there might be some sort of clarity that is going to be presented to you, especially if you can get into this place of detachment. Or, you know, for some of you, you might have already been in that place of detachment. You're starting to you're starting to feel that you can let loose of those bonds, all right? I feel like intention is going to be very important for you as well. It feels like you need to put that energy towards the intention of what it is that you want because it does feel that for some of you it might have been going around and around and around in your head all right and 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 it, it's not bringing you the clarity that you want like do I go do I stay do I wait do I not wait what do I do right and, and it does feel like you need to have that intention towards it okay hit the mark and when it talks about hit the mark be very clear be very clear about what it is that you're seeking from from you know whatever is weighing on your head at this time so let's get some more clarity we've got the emperor coming through we also have the uh six of cups coming in sorry i couldn't read that and we've got the king of swords yeah you really want some clarity and again i do feel that with that king of swords coming in especially with the emperor somebody may take charge here and this could be somebody from your past this is why i'm getting for some of you this could have to do with relationship especially with that six of cups coming in all right this could be a past relationship and again you know whether or not the relationship moves forward or not moves forward it, it's like you just want the clarity you know, you just want to know. You want to know what secrets they were hiding. You want to know, you know, what what happened within this. Or you maybe you're, you are seeking that apology. Or maybe, you know, you just want to clear this in order to move ahead. You know, maybe perhaps together, right? So let's get, let's get um, a card from the universe and see what's going on. Um, and then we're also going to uh, look into relationships and see what's happening there. I do feel that for many of you, it's either going to be the start of setting the intention of what it is that you're absolutely seeking and desiring out of the outcome of this, or you might even be receiving that clarity that you've been, been wanting, especially with that king and that ace coming in. All right. Okay. Let's see what's coming on. Yeah, radical curiosity. Uh, seeing, seeing as if for the first time, every time. Um, I kind of feel like what Spirit is saying to you is be in this place. Breaking the ties of that devil. All right? Breaking the ties of this devil energy. And again, it feels like you've been really weighted down because of whatever was happening within this. All right. Whether it was somebody that was, you know, again, hanging on to some sort of bonds or creating the bonds that, you know, were making you feel trapped or that you were, you know, trapping yourself in. And it feels like what is happening here, what needs to happen with this card, you know, coming in, uh, seeing things for the first time. It really feels like there's this energy that's coming through here where you need to go back into almost like a childlike enjoyment of life. Okay, because this whole situation, how long it's been going on for, it may be, you know, fairly new situation. Maybe it's an old cycle that you keep repeating, or maybe it is somebody from the past that, you know, keeps reappearing or, you know, that there's this uh, discord with at this particular moment. But it, it, it's kind of clouded your excitement for, for a lot of things. I feel like it's weighted you down to a point where it's hard to get excited about things. Or maybe perhaps you're just feeling so, um, you know, pulled down in your own personal energy. And I feel like... 
by setting that intention and by letting it go and by letting the universe take over and just you know bring through make like set that intention this is going to help you see things for the first time and and again it, it's kind of putting back that childlike um curiosity and wonderment back into the world because i do feel you know aquarius is especially like you know we like to see things as as they are fresh right we can look at things and we see things in a different manner than than most people do we see how things work we see excitement in things we can look at a blade of grass sometimes and just get excited about it right or the universe or the stars and i feel like this situation has put you into a place where just things feel dull right or clouded or it's like a fog or a mist over them because we've been trapped within this and you're just seeking all you're asking for is that clarity please give me that clarity and so i do feel that by having that intention and by that detachment it will help bring you know some of that childlike curiosity back into your um perspective back into your view so let's take a look at relationships and see what's coming in and as it stands right now, it really does feel that by setting that intention of what it is that you're seeking, for some of you, you might actually be receiving the clarity that you've been, you know, been desiring. All right. Let's see if the cards are going to cooperate with me now. Okay, relationships for Aquarius. Well, that was easy. Maybe they just wanted to come out. All right. First card coming in, we have the Capricorn. So this is, again, the devil energy, right? Devil energy, king of pentacles. Or maybe your person, you know, is a, you know, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But it doesn't have to do anything, you know, with that either. It's just really talking about, again, that devil energy coming in. So feeling bound, feeling you know, um, in this place of being held back in some way. Second card coming through, we have the element of fire and it talks about expect the unexpected. So, you know, but it also talks about like creative, passionate, again, that childlike type of energy. I feel like bringing this forward, but what I'm also getting here is it does feel that for some of you, this person may be presenting themselves or coming forward in some way to explain or, you know, bring clarity to the situation. Or maybe perhaps, you know, there might even be that apology that you've been waiting or seeking for or seeking. Look at this diamond ring, right? Proposal, engagement, agreement. I mean, expect the unexpected. I don't know, you know, if exactly you're going to be married or, you know, get engaged or, you know, anything along that line. But what it is saying here is that there may be some sort of revelation that comes through maybe somebody will reveal their feelings towards you it does feel like again that clarity it almost feels like for some of you you needed to go through what happened or that separation because i do feel like there there might be some sort of lack of communication that was happening here but what i'm getting here is it feels like you're a person or you know the, the whatever this is whoever this is involved with um, it feels as though, it feels as though you've been really been on their mind. And again, they want to come through with some sort of explanation, some sort of communication. There might even, you know, might even be trying for that reconciliation in some way. I do feel like, but I keep getting that this was necessary energy. It almost put you into a place of, even though it feels heavy, okay, heavy energy but it did allow you to really go into yourself and make that determination of what it is that you were seeking, that intention, you know? You might have come to this point of, you know, this is what I settled for in the past. I'm not gonna settle for it again. This is not what I want in my life. This is what I want coming forward. So you set that intention and you're not settling for anything less. So let's get some clarification and let's see what's coming through. card for that devil. Man. Okay. So we have this knight of swords coming through with the world and the ten of wands. 
Yeah, I really do feel that for some of you, this was, it was almost like that end of the cycle and this is exactly what you're wanting. You know, it, it doesn't mean ending the relationship or walking away completely. I mean, unless this is truly what you want, um, but it doesn't have to mean that. It just feels like, you know, there was a lot of oppression here, a lot of, you know, it felt like a burden. It felt like a burden on you. Like, oh, I just can't seem to release this energy but it did help you get a sense of clarity as well, okay? This is really what I'm getting, especially with that Knight of Swords coming in. It's like the, the clarity that you wanted really came forward, okay? It charged forward, and it was really showing you, this is what I want. I don't want this energy anymore. I can't deal with it. It feels heavy. It's too much. I can't do this player energy or this in and out energy or this third-party bullshit anymore. I'm done. I'm done. And this is really what I'm getting. You want to close off that bloody cycle, right? You want to close that cycle and just, you're just like, uh-uh, this, this can't happen anymore. I want the clarity to, you know, um, not only from that person, but I want to set the intention of what it is that I want. I want something stable. I want this long-term relationship. I want, you know, somebody who is going to be strong and passionate, right? And, and bring through this energy that is going to lead to this uh, long-term energy. All right, so let's see, let's clarify the, uh, let's uh, uh, clarify the element of fire. And we've got the princess of swords, so we were really getting a lot of swords in here, okay? And I'm really getting, again, that, it, you know, when that page of swords, it feels like somebody could be watching you. They may have, you know, stepped back or being quiet, there might have been no communication, but either you or they, could be both even, that, you know, it feels as though you're really watching each other, okay? Maybe they're, um, you know, maybe they're trying to, you know, place things on social media in order to get you to engage in some way, but I do feel that they're watching. This is what I'm really getting, and they might even be watching to see you know, what's going on with your life? Because it does feel like you really took a step back. Like when you took that step back, you might have went full silent. Like enough is enough. I decided what I want. I'm done with this bullshit. I only want this. And this is what I'm going to go for. And because of that silence, they're now wondering what, what is going on with Aquarius? What's happening with Aquarius? What's Aquarius doing? You know, I want to observe. We're also getting, yeah, the chariot. And the empress, they view you as the empress, okay? Because again, you're not chasing. I don't get the energy of chasing. You're not chasing. You're not, you know, hey, let's try to resolve this. Hey, let's try to work on this. Hey, let's, you know, you're done. You're like, mm-mm, 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 mm -mm. I'm enough, enough crap, right? And and you've gone into your full powered empress energy. And, and this doesn't matter whether you're male or female, okay? The Empress, you know, she, she's she's all about the nurturing, the abundance. She knows what she wants. She, you know, she's in this place of her own personal power, especially if she's seeking that long-term relationship. She's not going to put up with any bullshit anymore. No more. Uh-uh. Enough. You either want me or you don't want me. But I want the clarity, right? And, and I do feel that clarity coming. It almost feels to me, if I was to read this as a little bit of a story, and I keep hearing this in my head, the clarity is coming forward from this person charging ahead towards their empress. Okay, this is what I'm, this is what I'm getting just from these three cards. So let's clarify that diamond ring. We've got the page of pentacles, all right? So there's a new energy that could be even having to do with an apology. I, I, again, I feel an apology coming through, especially with that page of pentacles. feels like a new beginning. They might want a new beginning. And again, you know, um, you know, even if that apology doesn't lead to a new beginning, I do feel that for some of them, they want a new energy towards the situation or perhaps even to clarify for you because it does feel like there's an element of guilt here, especially with that devil card coming in not only once but twice. We also have the strength card. And look at this, the six of wands, all right? So some sort of victory. I feel like, you know, even if there wasn't a reconciliation between the two of you, it does feel that by bringing that clarity through for you, 
or that apology, there's a victory that comes out of it, okay? They might be able to move on with their lives knowing that they're coming from a place of honesty now or that they left you at least with that with that element of honesty there. They were able to clarify a lot of things, maybe their own distance or maybe their own behavior. But I keep, keep, I keep getting here that there might be some reconciliation. Now, of course, this has to do with you, right? Are you going to accept that apology? Are you going to allow this energy this person back into the life. And I, I do feel that for some of you, you do want this. You do want that energy to come in. You do want that reconciliation. You do want that long-term commitment. But again, it's got to be from a place of purity, right? Especially with this victory card coming in. This is somebody who's fought the battles. You, you, you know, you've gone through the ringer already, and now you're ready to walk forward from a place of victory, from a feeling of triumph, from a feeling, but not egotistical triumph. This isn't about ego or anything like that. It's like knowing that you have that partner that will battle through with you, right? It's having that person that is going to stand beside you as you go through life. And this is what I keep getting. So again, it's going to be up to you whether or not you accept it or not accept it. But I do feel some sense of clarity that is going to be coming through, especially if you set the intention of what it is that you're seeking or desiring. So let's get um, some messages from spirit and see what's coming in here. Let's see what spirit has to say for our Aquariuses. Messages for Aquarius. Wow, we've got the resting tree, patience and stillness. I do feel patience is necessary. Again, it's kind of like surrender, all right? Surrendering to... Uh, the divine, allowing your intentions, whatever intentions you set to be able to come true. All right. Rather than reacting out of a place of frustration, or again, even maybe perhaps that devil energy, you're going into a place of rest. You're going into that place of healing, allowing yourself to just, again, set your intentions, knowing what it is that you want. Right. But you have the patience now because you're not in this, uh, energy of rushing you're not in this energy of you know being okay it has to be this it has to be this or this like it, it, it's it, it's kind of that understanding that I know the divine is bringing through what it is that I want and now I can rest and just sort of rejoice when it comes through we have the fire prince okay optimism and aggression right I do feel though it's more about optimism than aggression all right, we're gonna. I am, I am gonna clarify this, but I do feel it has more to do with optimism. Like you're in this place of being optimistic that you will receive what it is that you're wanting to receive. And again, because you went into that patience, but also because you set the intention. And we have sisters of the season, cycles of growth, natural law, and divine order. So when we have this come through, I, as I said earlier, I do feel that there was this energy you know, with you guys, that a lot of what had happened between you and this particular person was absolutely necessary. I do feel that it was a necessary energy simply because of the fact that it helped the growth. It helped some sort of sense of stability. It helped you uh, get into a place of being grounded within yourself. And when we're grounded and we have set that intention, the divine does come in and help us with that it helps balance that energy. So let's just get some quick clarification and see what's coming in. Yeah, again, four. So I can't make this up, guys. Like four swords. Like this is a time to rest, right? Remove. If I do feel aggression, the only aggression I feel is within our mind. It's not in our behavior. Okay, we might be aggressively thinking. And again, I go back into this. We need to be in this place of optimism and rest and surrender and just allowing the divine to do its job. All right. And I also have harmonious change. Yeah, the two of pentacles coming through. I do feel like, again, balance. And there's some balance that's coming in here, especially, especially if we can remove that aggression. Okay. And that might be our thinking. It might, for some of you, maybe it is your actions. But I do feel that it's more of an aggressive thinking. 
stage rather than its actual behavior because I do feel a lot of rest that is coming here for you Aquarians and we also have the nine of uh, or the seven of wands so it's protecting what you want you're not gonna you're not I feel like again setting that orders or setting that intention setting that intention you're not going to back down from it. You're not going to go back to the same old crap, the same old bullshit, the round and around in a circle. The only thing that you're going to settle for now is that change, that harmonious change. The only thing you're going to allow is, you know, this energy of moving forward in some way in a balanced and focused way. You're not ready to accept the scraps that maybe perhaps somebody was offering you before. You're wanting the victory out of this situation. And I do feel that for many of you, you're going to get a lot of clarity this week in regards to moving forward. And especially, you know, not only within yourself, but I do feel this coming in from somebody else as well, presenting, you know, giving you that clarity, maybe perhaps even that apology. So I truly hope that this has helped Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching. If this reading has resonated with you, please click like, please click, uh, subscribe and do click the notification bell, uh, because you do get notified when we go live or when new videos come up on my channel. Have an amazing week and many blessings.